And hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101. We're calling it early games, uh, late game, post game show, uh, Sunday night football, uh, second quarter, pre game show. Well, pre game, second quarter show, we'll call it. Uh, well, <clears throat> uh, the Browns even up their record at 1 and 1 as they beat the Houston Texans today at First Energy Stadium. Uh, 31 to 21. What a game by the Browns! They they looked they looked better today versus uh, last week's game against the Chiefs. Uh, and uh, oh, excuse me. Um, now I'm gonna recap it for you right now. Uh, uh, uh. And we're going to recap it for you right now. Uh, Adrian uh, J- uh, Janovich, or Andy Janovich, excuse me. Andy Janovich rushed up the middle to the Houston end zone for a, uh, a one-yard touchdown. Uh, and uh, Chase McLaughlin's uh, a field, goal, field goal extra point is good, and it's 7 nothing Browns. But then the Browns had a few woes in this first half, and uh, this was one of those woes they had. Uh, uh, Tyrod Taylor passed short complete to uh, the given 26, and uh, Phillip Lindsay uh, scored a 20 uh, two yard touchdown uh, and uh, slice extra point is good and it's 7-7 seven, seven at the end of the first quarter uh, the uh, second quarter um, oh and the Browns did fumble and then they Houston got the ball back, but they had to punt. And at the beginning of the second quarter, the Browns had an interception. And uh, it was uh, 30 13 at uh, the Houston 45 Maples Pass. Deep middle intercepted by uh, uh, Jake Reed at the Houston 29. Uh, tackled by Jack Conklin at the 47. But. Um, and then uh, let me go back. I got a uh, Tyra Taylor scrambles left to end zone for a 15 yard touchdown. Uh, a slice uh, extra point is good. And it's 14 uh, 7 Texans. But then Baker Mayfield scrambles up the middle to the Houston end zone for a uh, five yard touchdown. Chase McLaughlin's extra point is good. And the Browns and Texans were tied at 14. At the half. Um, in the third quarter. Uh, Houston went three and out and had to punt. And uh, Brown's got the ball back. Uh, Baker Mayfield's pass. Short left to the Houston 33. Catch made by uh, 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 Dimitri F- uh, uh, D, uh, uh, by Felton, by, D, by uh, uh, Derek, F- by uh, Dimitri Felton, at the Houston 33. <coughs> he uh, ran the ball in for a 33 yard touchdown. Chase McLaughlin's extra point is good, and it was 21 uh, 14. Uh, uh, Browns, and then, uh, and then, uh, I gotta go back to, uh, no, 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 and then Houston had an interception, uh, it was an interception that they had, it was 3-10, and ten. it was a 3-10 and and interception, uh, Mills passed short, uh, up the middle, intercepted it, 
to Houston 18 intercepted by uh, uh, Malcolm Smith at uh, or uh, to um, at the Houston 18 tackled by uh, by Houston at the 18 and <coughs> by uh, oh Marcus Smith excuse me he was and and that's when the Browns got the ball back. And they tried to score a touchdown, but couldn't do it. Uh, Chase McLaughlin, a 30-yard field goal attempt is good. And it was 24-14 Browns at the end of the third quarter. As we go into the end of the fourth quarter, finally. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, David Mills complete uh, to... Uh, to Cleveland end zone catch made by uh, Brendan Cooks. Uh, Brendan Cooks with a two yard touchdown. Slides uh, extra point is good and it was 21 24. And then the Browns, Nick Chubb rushing the Houston end zone for a 26 yard TD. Chase McLaughlin's uh, extra point is good and it was 31 to 21. And uh, then uh, Houston tried to score a touchdown. After uh, if I couldn't do it, and uh, and uh, Sly missed a missed a forty-one uh, field goal attempt. It was no good, and and then uh, Baker Mayfield kneels three times, and all they had to do was just run out the clock, and nonetheless. Uh, the uh, Browns get the win. And they avoid an 0-2 start. And uh, by the final of 31-21. The Browns really looked good in this game today. They had a few woes in the first half, but they overcame them in the second half. <laughs> and they did look good against the Texans, though, in all four quarters, even though they overcame woes after that first half in the second half. Uh, Jarvis Landry left the game uh, with a knee injury after catching a nine-yard pass on the Browns' first drive. Landry did not return. He remained in the locker, locker room for the rest of uh, the game. Uh, the Browns' running backs uh, definitely, uh, uh, were the tar definitely were the target on... Uh, were definitely the target. On eight of Mayfield's 13 first half passing attempts, Harrison Bryant, Austin Hooper, and David Njoko combined for seven catches on eight targets. Nobody else had more than one target at, at halftime. Uh, Brown's uh, receivers finished the game with five targets, and it didn't matter. The tight ends, uh, they were the factor too, combined for 109 yards on, on 11 catches. Um. And the Browns' defense really contributed. They really put up some big numbers today. And uh, they uh, finished off with uh, with uh, six targets as well. And, uh, six targets as well. And the offense, uh, they finished off with five. So uh, the Browns really look good in this game today. Time now to give out some game balls. Uh uh, Baker Mayfield, 19 of 21, carries an attempt, 213 yards, one touchdown, one reception. Nick Chubb, uh, 95 yards, 11 attempts, one touchdown. And uh, yeah, Dimitri Felton, I said that name right. Uh, two receptions, 51 yards, and one touchdown. And Kareem Hunt, 13 of 51 carries and attempt, 13 carries and attempts, 51 yards, one touchdown, and uh, I mean 13 of uh, 13 uh, carries and attempts, 51 yards, and uh, one reception and uh, and one 
uh, two uh, yards. So, uh, getting that. those are the four game balls. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, we're going to go to all of the uh, rest of today's action right now. Uh, you know, the Giants beat the Washington football team Thursday, 30-29. to They eked out that win. They escaped it. And Washington uh, has evened up their record uh, at 1-1. At, uh, one and one. And unfortunately, the Giants fell to 0-2. Oh, uh, the... Uh, Oakland Raiders beat the Pittsburgh Steelers today at their home at, at the Steelers' home at Heinz Field, twenty-six to seventeen today. Boy, was that was a surprise! And uh, Pittsburgh had led, but then they just couldn't do it. They couldn't hold on, and uh, they the Raiders just got the chance and they got back into it. Uh, uh, Derek Carr, 28 of 37 carries and attempts, 382 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, Peyton Barber, 32 yards, 13 attempts, and uh, Henry Ruggs, five receptions, 113 yards, one touchdown. But this, this game was just, the Raiders had it by the fourth quarter. They had it. And they, they just had it once. They just kept it going. Yeah, the Raiders just, after the uh, second quarter, they just took over. And Pittsburgh never let it. They led 17. It was... 17-13, but then the Raiders took over in the fourth quarter, so well, they get the win. Uh, um, the uh, San Francisco 49ers in a low-scoring affair today in uh, Philly. <laughs> they beat the Philadelphia Eagles 17 to 11 today. Uh, they, Philly had chances, but they just could not capitalize on them. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, he's one of my game ball winners. A 22 of 30, uh, carries on 10, 189 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. Uh, 20 yards on the rushing side of it, one touchdown, 11 attempts, and, uh, And uh, Debo Samuel, uh, 93 yards, six receptions. Uh, and you already know the Browns won 31 to 21 today for Synergy Stadium. The Denver Broncos beat the Jacksonville Jaguars in Jacksonville today. Uh, 23 to 13. Jacksonville had opportunities, but they just could not take advantage of them. And, and they led, uh, well, they actually never led in this game. The Broncos just controlled it from the get-go, and uh, Jacksonville just could not get back into it. So I got to give the game balls to Denver. Teddy Bridgewater. Twenty-six of thirty-four carries attempts, hundred and twenty-eight yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Javante Williams. Uh, Sixty-four yards, thirteen attempts, and uh
Cortland Sutton. Uh, 159 yards, nine receptions. And I'll be back with the rest of the final scores right after this.